Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are taking a break from all the speakers and we're going to be talking a little bit about my channel's audio production. So what you're listening to now is a Sennheiser MKE 600 shotgun condenser mic mounted just out of frame here. Alright, so this is going to solve all the problems, all the bad audio problems in my channel once and for all. Let me take you on a journey on how I arrived at this particular solution. Alright guys, so I've been creating content on YouTube talking about wireless audio file speakers, especially Sonos, for the last one and a half years, actually coming close to two years, and I started since the June of 2020. Now, I have had some problems with audio production in the beginning. Um, I came from a background of photography. Now, photography is about lights, it's about camera, but videography for YouTube production takes on another dimension, which is audio, and I was very badly equipped. Now, I've tried many, many things, including uh, lavalier mics, where you will clip a mic uh, to your shirt like this, right? And you speak to it, but the sound quality was kind of lacking and it was picking up sound and noise from everywhere. It was convenient because you plug one end of the mic into the camera and it was in perfect synchronization. But, you know, this is an audio channel. We cannot have bad audio. So I went down the path and I started chasing a couple of things and I got the Zoom H1N. Not a bad mic, very portable, but you know, you kind of like the same thing. You have to output into the camera or you record separately, but the sound was still a little bit lacking. It was not the professional grade audio that I keep hearing a lot of YouTube channels um, put out, right? And what is missing? I tried to keep learning it. Now, it turns out that the solution is not just about hardware, it's not just about software, it's a combination of hardware and knowing what to do with the software. So, in came the whole journey. So, from the lavalier and mic, I went to the handy recorder and I also went into a couple of things, which is the Elgato Wave 3. This is the USB-based mic. I went to the HyperX Quadcast S and that, those are USB mics that needed to be plugged into the computer for recording. So not the most convenient. Um, I didn't stick with them long because still the sound quality was kind of lacking. I then went on to dynamic mics, things like that. And then lies the next problem. When I'm talking products and I'm talking reviews, I kind of like have to work around the mic, right? Because I can't bump it. Right? So I wanted something, I wanted a solution that could get rid of this obstruction and I could do my jazz handings, free flow of moving products around. And I do test speakers. Sometimes the speakers are long like the Sonos Arc soundbar that stretches four feet wide. I can't have a mic right in front of me blocking and obstructing. So the Sennheiser, this is the MKE 600, is a shotgun condenser mic the movement is going to cause a bit of handling noise pardon me and now just out of frame okay you can still see a little bit sticking out there i'm just going to move it out and the sound quality is pristine as you are hearing it right now no problems with anything blocking my way now i'd like to talk a little bit about the difference between condenser mic and dynamic mics now this is an example of a dynamic mic. And for dynamic mics, what happens is that you've got to get really close to the mouthpiece before it starts picking out sound from your voice. Now, the good part about this is that anything that is further away don't get picked up. So if your room is not well treated, a dynamic mic will work very, very well for you. And it doesn't need phantom power, but you know, you'll still get this obstruction, which it doesn't work for my channel. I'm not saying that it doesn't work for anyone else. For a podcast where you don't need the video, a dynamic mic works fantastically well. And the sound quality is actually not too bad. But when you need something out of frame, right, that's when a shotgun condenser mic comes in. The condenser mic, they actually have a larger pickup pattern and they pick up sound from a little bit further which is why I'm able to boom this guy right just out of frame 
and it is able to still pick up the sound even though the mic is not right in front of my mouth. So how did I land with this shotgun condenser mic? There's a company in Singapore and that's Cathay Photo. And I'm very, very proud to announce that Cathay Photo is actually sponsoring the equipment for this mic. I actually visited their store. Now, if I could show you the store that I have been visiting, Cathay Photo is located at Peninsula Plaza in Singapore. It's right, um, it is in town, right? And Singapore isn't a very big place for those of you who are not familiar with Singapore. If you visit Peninsula Plaza, the biggest camera store there is Cathay Photo. And they have two sides to it. Now, this side is where I bought my first camera, uh, the Sony, no, sorry, my first camera, the Canon 500D. And let me just bring you to the specific counter, right? Well, it didn't uh, always look like that, but basically I bought the Canon 500D here. And that was many, many, many years ago. I later upgraded to the Canon 5D Mark III, a full frame Canon camera with all my lenses, the 135, the 24, 70, the 70, 200. Everything was bought here. And the largest range of camera, anything from Canon, Sony, Olympus, whatever you name it. Oh, how could I forget Nikon and Leica? They, they carry it. Cate Photo carries it. Now, they have since a couple of years ago, expanded to this particular um, store opposite. And this is the pro video camera section, right? So you'll see your whole, um, all these uh, professional grade cameras, okay? From Canon, Sony, they even have Blackmagic. And I zoomed in on this section here. Now, this is the Sennheiser section. Now, I told them that I needed a mic. Okay, and what is the mic that I need? Well, um, I told them the specific purpose of what I need it for, uh, that I need the front free, and they recommended and agreed to sponsor my channel. So anything that you hear on this channel from today onwards, if you see a sound sponsored by Cathay Photo, you will know that it is being recorded by the Sennheiser MKE 600. The MKE 600, retails for just uh, south of $500 um, in Cathay Photo. So I've checked around, actually the price that they are selling is about 460 Singapore dollars, and it's a little bit cheaper than uh, some of the other stores that are carrying it. Now, the thing is, there is another version of the mic, which is uh, a little bit higher. Next up, they have the MKH416, and that retails for a thousand US dollars. In Singapore, it's gonna cost a thousand four, thousand five thereabouts. So this is a pretty um, mid-tier, I would say, uh, compromise to getting that kind of sound quality on the MKH416. And if you're listening to this video right now, and it sounds good to you, it means that the problem has been solved, hasn't it? So this is the MKE 600. I'm just gonna do a very quick intro on it. So it comes in this exact packaging. Um, the box is about just 35 centimeters tall. Again, not important. Let's open up and see what you get inside. Foam sheet, never mind that. This is a carrying pouch for your mic. Well, it's to protect, it's lightly foam, lightly padded, and you get your booklets. Now, this is the important part, right? You have the foam shield, right? This is to cut away the wind noise should you be recording outdoors. And when you're recording outdoors, they actually provide this shock mount here. Now this shock mount, it doesn't look like a shock mount, but there is actually some degree of shock absorption. And this is cold shoe mountable or a tripod mountable, right? You can mount it right on the camera. You can place the entire shotgun on your camera. Now the good part about it is that it actually doesn't require uh, phantom power. Well, you can power the mic with phantom power or you can actually insert a double A size battery into the mic itself. It will power itself output via the XLR jack into a 3.5 mm jack which you can then plug into the camera directly because there is built-in power using the double A battery. Now, this for convenience for run and gun shots is fantastic, which is why you probably need this because in those particular circumstances, you are likely to be shooting outdoor. Now, if you're shooting indoor and you have free placement on where you want your mic to be, recommendation, of course, is to boom it just out of frame, 
it's still able gonna, it's still going to be able to pick up the sound from this distance this is about 40 to 40 centimeters away uh, about 15 inches away from my mouth so the audio is crisp and clear in that respect so all these accessories are being provided in the kit i'm not using them now because i'm having it boomed up and it is going straight into my roadcaster pro now some of you may be thinking oh because of the audio processing on the roadcaster pro that's why it sounds better i have actually turned off all audio processing on the roadcaster pro so what you are hearing is a dry signal from the sennheiser mic now there's another switch on the Sennheiser MKE 600 that is a uh, um, attenuation. It's a low cut filter, right? Or they call it the high pass filter. Low cut as in it cuts away a lower frequency. High pass as in it allows it passes through the frequency above a certain range. Now it's going to attenuate that signal in case you do have some rumbling noise or the air conditioner is running and you can cut away that sound. Now, my room is, uh, well, I, I did spend a bit of time and effort and money to kind of treat the room a little bit. So there are curtains, there are Elgato wave foam panels around, and it does kind of um, contain the reverberation, the echoes quite a bit. So I left that switch on. Now, you will hear that the sound is actually very, very crisp. It's not picking so much of the room noise that you were experiencing in my previous video. Now, if you were listening on your phone or on an iPad without headphones, you might not realize it. But on my channel, usually I would advise you if I'm doing any recording of sound samples from the speaker. Not that I agree that this is the best way to do it, but for those of you who just want a baseline comparison, you do want to uh, put on headphones. And I do encourage you to put on headphones. And when you put on headphones, all these sounds, you start picking it up. And if there's a room noise and if there's rumbling uh, from the air conditioner, you will hear all this, which is what the low cut filter is useful for to, you know, remove sounds from below a certain frequency. So for those of you who are interested in checking out the Sennheiser MKE 600, do pay a visit to Cathay Photo. Now, even if you don't need the Sennheiser MKE 600, they do have a portfolio of amazing mics and you know lighting equipment as well as photography videography equipment that if, if you can't find it at Cathay Photo I really doubt you can find it anywhere else in Singapore Cathay Photo has been around for the last 60 years that's like six decades it is probably in the second generation of the family that is running the whole um, uh, whole show. And if you speak to any of their staff there, they are all well equipped and they are very, very knowledgeable in terms of the product. And if you're not sure what to get, they will be happy to help you like they have helped me. Now, this video, while the equipment has been sponsored, I did state that no matter what, they have no editorial control over the content that I'm making. Of course, I'm a little bit biased, right? But for a very good reason. And just bear in mind, I've turned down quite a few other sponsorship um, uh, offers already because I am going to be a little bit more particular about what I talk about. The things that I'm going to be talking about on this channel, it needs to be something that I like, something that I will use on a much longer term basis and this is my promise to you, right? The MKE 600 shotgun microphone from Sennheiser is a fantastic piece of equipment. I see myself using it. I see myself keeping it for a very, very long time. And this is not all that I'm going to be doing for Cate Photo. They have done me a great service by sponsoring this mic. I will be giving them the credit for helping me improve my YouTube channel audio. So I hope you enjoy this channel from today onwards. Anything that I have without having a mic in my face, you will know that it is being made possible by this particular shotgun mic. Well, you see, I even have a Neumann TLM102, a German-made microphone. This mic is expensive. 800 US dollars, over thousand dollars, well over a thousand Singapore dollars. But, you know, it's still going to be appearing on my face it sounds great i give you that but i need the pop filter i need the arm i need it's just getting in the way so anytime you see my video now where i'm able to do the jazz hand things and i'm having free play on where i'm going to be moving my speakers or showing product demos you will know that it was made possible by Cathay photo 
sponsoring the Sennheiser MKE 600. Now, for those of you who think that this is not a related video, please, I applaud you. Just think twice, okay? Good audio is very, very important, especially for a channel that talks about audio products. So thank you, Cathay Photos. And for those of you who are keen on visiting them at their store or on their e-commerce online store, I'm going to be leaving the links and the information down in the video description below. And I'll see you in my next video.